In today's world, rife with fake news, disinformation, and self-serving politicians, how do we know who we can trust? How do we know what to believe? How do we know what is true? Are there other things about which we are being lied to? Are we being told the truth about our history, our planet, ourselves? In this video, we're going to discuss how to see truth, how to develop the ability of discernment and navigate our way through deception to discover the underlying hidden truth. Stay tuned. What exactly is truth? From a ground level perspective, truth could be defined as the true state of a matter, that which conforms to actuality, or something which is independently verifiable, such as with fact checking. It's the truth. But on a deeper spiritual level, truth is something that we know with certainty to be the case. Not a belief, but rather a profound internal knowingness. Spiritual truth, the type of truth spelled with a capital T, is experiential knowledge. It's something that we come to understand or something which becomes clear to us. The type of truth of which I am speaking is not something to be learned from a book, but instead something to be experienced and understood from within. Now, before we delve any further into the deeper meaning of truth and how to develop the gift of discernment, I'd like to take a moment to explain truth's importance to our world and to each of us as individuals. In other words, why does truth matter so much? Why is this something we should even bother with? And what does truth mean to each of us on an individual level? Although many are unaware of the subterfuge, the magnitude of deception in our world today is absolutely staggering, almost unfathomable. We are being lied to about so many things and on such a massive scale that were the curtain of deception to be lifted today and all truths stood revealed, a great number of us would likely be rocked to our core. You can't handle the truth! Take a moment to consider the degree of suffering present in our world today. The number of homeless are increasing. More and more people are going hungry. Working longer hours for less pay is becoming the norm. We're at the point where our life expectancy is now decreasing. Suicide is on the rise. And what makes all of this possible? Lies, deception, a lack of truth, both within ourselves and in the world without. For your consideration, imagine for a moment a world in which we all sought the truth. Imagine living in a place where everyone lovingly spoke the truth from their hearts. Rather than debate from our egos, imagine what it would be like if we calmly shared ideas in a mutual ongoing quest to discover that which is true and share it with our fellow human beings. Picture a planet wherein truth was prized above all else and lies and deception, by contrast, simply became apparent. When I was a young boy, my grandfather used to say to me, Alan Ray, you know how you can tell when a politician is lying? Their lips are moving. As a child, I always wondered in return, why do adults put up with this? And today, I still feel that this is a question worth posing to ourselves. Why do we tolerate leaders who knowingly deceive us? Why do we permit those to be in charge that are dishonest? Why do we elect people that are untrustworthy? And rather than answer these questions, what I'm suggesting here is that we pose these questions to ourselves, that we take a new look at this dynamic with a fresh set of eyes. The importance of truth in our lives is this. If we live from truth, deception will begin to dissolve. If we all seek the truth, lies will have nowhere to hide. If we begin to walk in truth, the polarizing problems which darken our world, particularly in the U.S., will resolve themselves in the light. Truth would allow us to have a new conversation about the homeless and our present systems that are producing this byproduct. Truth would allow us to have a heartfelt discussion about hunger 
and look to its source in order for the solution to be revealed. Truth would permit us to re-examine our present modes of being in the world and ask the tough questions such as, why is humanity being forced to work longer and longer hours as we go forward? And why is modern day humanity still stuck in survival mode? Truth would create a space within which we could have a frank discussion about the causes behind modern man's life expectancy decreasing to identify the contributing factors from our present day systems and to implement solutions which serve us all and not just a few. Heartfelt truth would enable us to ask ourselves, why are more people choosing to end their lives today through suicide and to reevaluate what modern life looks like to unpack why life is so difficult for so many and to question whether we should make some fundamental changes to how we live and exist in this world. We got to make some changes here and move on. So with that said, how do we acquire the ability to see truth? How do we develop discernment and distinguish between that which is false and that which is true? Spiritual truth becomes clear to us in those still moments when we allow ourselves to be, to listen, and to feel. When truth reveals itself to us, it speaks in the language of intuition. Again, a profound internal knowingness. It's something which we cannot force to occur, but instead must allow to happen. If we wish to begin seeing truth, to easily discern that which is true from that which is illusory, I recommend taking the following four steps. Step one, let go of the ego. The ego is likely the largest obstacle to truth. Ego does not care about what is true or what best serves us, but instead is only concerned with its own agenda. If we wish to align with truth, we must let go of the need to be right, let go of the need to triumph over the other party, and so on. The ego, by its very nature, is illusory, and it will steer us away from truth in almost every instance. Step 2. Be open rather than closed. We've all been conditioned through the process of enculturation to utilize belief systems as our guide, rather than maintain an openness to discovering what is true. As we go throughout life, we fall back on pre-canned stories we tell ourselves, which include our cultural narrative, rather than seek truth in each individual experience. In other words, the mind is, for all intents and purposes, closed because it believes it already knows everything. If we wish to see truth, we must set aside these bequeathed biases and open ourselves to truth as we go forward. Step 3. Allow truth as your guide. Now, this may sound as though I'm stating the obvious here. However, when we observe our inner world, what we discover is that rather than allowing truth to guide us moment by moment, instead, we tend to follow the promptings of judgment, fear, worry, anger, and so on. We tend to listen to the loud, boisterous voice of the ego, and in so doing, miss the soft, sage voice of truth within. It bears repeating that truth is something we must allow to happen, and that allowance comes by virtue of letting go of that which is muffling its voice. And finally, step four, be present in the moment. Truth often becomes clear to us when our channels are clear, when the mind is silent and our inner world is still. Letting go of the mind's self-chatter allows us to become fully present in the moment before us. The more often we are present in the moment, the more often we are receptive to truth. The most effective way to develop presence and learn to release the egoic voice in the background is through daily meditation. Should you wish to align with truth, try meditating for a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes each morning and again for 15 to 20 minutes every evening. Meditation will help cultivate presence within you and teach the mind to remain in the moment. You live in Ohio, right? I could swing through and pick you up. All right, first of all, my parents live in Ohio. I live in the moment. We all possess the capacity to recognize truth. The gift of discernment is not unlike an unlockable ability in a video game. 
waiting for each of us to level up our consciousness and claim the inherent prize. Practice presence, cultivate internal stillness, and learn to listen within. Open yourself to truth, and all things true shall be revealed to you in return.